Alright, here with Pastor Lene. Yeah, gonna resume after a nice long summer break with three points. Pastor Lene. Well, questions on my mind and probably everybody else's. Tell us a little bit more about your big, great summer adventure. Your Whoa. vacation, that's in quotation yes. marks. Yes, I had a big vacation. I uh, found about halfway through my vacation, discovered that I had some gallstones that made so, made it so that I needed to have my gallbladder removed. Put me out of commission for a little bit. Didn't get to fish as much as I wanted to on my vacation, but uh, all that is taken care of and I'm back to normal. Don't even realize I'm missing a body part. Oh, that's great. <laughs> so is your body part still here in Austin though, right? She came back for the I surgery here. I flew back because I, I was in South Dakota and I was at the emergency room the day that 400,000 motorcyclists were descending upon the Black Hills for the motorcycle rally in Sturgis. And the doctor there in Rapid City said, you really don't want to be here. We're the only surgical hospital in the hills. And I thought, you're right, I'm going to go home. And it was a wonderful time to come home and find out what a, what a great church this was, right. taking such good care of me. I had so many meals. They were supposed to make, you know, bring me a plate. And I would always have at least two or three meals off every plate that anybody brought me. So I was well taken care of. Oh, well, wonderful. So in a lot of ways that helped reinforce for you that this is a great place to be and yeah, you know, I, I was even sick. I couldn't even come to, to church on the August 8th, the big day where we had our big vote as a congregation, decided which way to go forward with me or without me, and they chose with me, I'm very, very glad to say. And so, but I was home, laying on the couch, not anywhere worth being able to be here that day. So, okay, so as a follow-up to that, did somebody call and contact you that day? Or were they like, okay, let's let Pash Lene just deal with her? No, uh, I, I was, you know, waiting anxiously to hear. And uh, Bob Tonhoff, the president of the congregation, called me and said, congratulations, you are our new senior pastor. All right, so how does it make you feel? I mean, I, I, let me go back. As you were growing up, or as you thought about going into ministry, was this ultimately a goal to become a senior pastor, or had it not really occurred to you, or is this just part of the natural process of being in ministry? I guess I, I just, I, as a child, of course, I didn't even think about being a pastor, so uh, just thought about being a servant, uh, doing things to help people. and. But, you know, the funny thing is I, I'm senior pastor, but I'm really the only pastor, so it doesn't really matter right now. It's, it's, um, there's a lot going on here, and it's very exciting. We're so thrilled to have just uh, hired Ashley Della Giacoma, our new um, um, youth, and fa youth and children's youth, youth and education minister, and uh, we'll be welcoming her this Sunday and beginning the call process for a new associate pastor. So... There are great things happening here at Abiding Love. Great. Well, um, wonderful. So what, what sort of things do we have? I mean, that sounds like those are some things we have to look forward to as, as the future progresses. Um, what else do we have to look forward to? I mean, what sort of things, uh, ideas that have percolated in your mind are you looking forward to trying to, to get going here? And, well, one of the very exciting things happening right now is our Godly Play initiative that's just um, this Sunday at Rally Day, we'll introduce Godly Play to the children and parents and uh, a new parenting class uh, in the nursery as well as a new uh, adult class that's going to be uh, taught. There's all kinds of things that are, we're just taking it up a notch. And um, we have so many wonderful programs here at Abiding Love. and ways to reach out and reach within to grow spiritually and I, it's just such a bright future that everybody's jumping in. All right, wonderful. Thank you very much. Yeah.